Wilbur here. You might have heard of something called a swan neck regulator. Sounds kind of graceful and fancy, doesn't it? Let's, let's talk about them a bit. Most of today's watches have a Bosley regulator in it. That's the one you always see in your favorite ETA or Salida movements. You'll recognize it by that lever that you move either by pushing it one direction or another or turning a screw or something. Mashing it one way uh, speeds up the beat of the watch and the other way slows it down. In the 1860s, Mr. Swan thought that Mr. Bosley's regulator could use a little refinement, so he came up with an add-on called the Swan Neck Regulator. I'm totally kidding. Actually, it was George P. Reed that patented this in 1867, and he called it the Reed's Whiplash Regulator. Catchy as that name was, it ended up being called a swan neck regulator. But actually, if you ask me, it looks more like a buggy whip than it does like a neck of a swan. But, you know, nobody asked me. So basically, this thing is just a way to get a finer adjustment. It uses a, a transverse screw that pushes on the lever of the regulator, which is then backed up by uh, spring tension on the other side. Is this thing necessary? Hmm, probably not. But it does add more fancy and elegant parts to a watch that the watch manufacturer can then turn around and justify for all of the extra thousands of dollars they're going to charge you. Brands using these uh, include Panerai, Stova, Vacheron Constant, Constantin, Constantine, why can't they just speak English? Zenith, Glashuta gets the over-the-top award for this duplex swan neck. Anything we're doing is worth overdoing. I don't even want to know what that thing costs. Well, there you go, a nice short video and you learned something. Now you can go home and have a glass of wine. If you like this new Quick Thoughts format, Go ahead and chuck a comment in uh, below and let me know how you like it. Or a thumbs up would be good too. Thanks for dropping by. We'll be around.